Got a snake on the road. Probably barely see it there. I think it's a little racer. Hey, little buddy. Ow, gotcha. Ow. Little juvenile southern black racer. Still got a little bit of pattern left on them. They're very heavily patterned when they're babies, but turn uh, solid black um, with uh, white chins and um, as they get older. But uh, pretty little snake, very feisty, wants to keep biting me. But we'll just let him go and keep cruising. This is the second snake of the day. I did see a bigger racer on the road earlier. So the racers are out, so that's good. Hopefully there'll be a few other things out too. Off you go, buddy. Look at that thing go. Just walking through the sand hills. And look. There's an armadillo down there. Digging away. Guys, we just got this small male eastern indigo snake. This is the largest native snake species in the United States. This is just a smaller one. This is a small male. Um, you can tell it's a male because it's too hard to see in the video, I think, but um, males have very small keels on their dorsal scales towards the end of their body. Uh, especially as they get bigger. This one is a little bit hard to see because it's a smaller male, maybe about four feet long, but I've seen them a lot more clearly on six to seven foot males for sure. This is an amazing specimen, super clean, probably just shed his skin recently. Um, nice red on his uh, face and chin and throat. Gorgeous specimen. Now these are, in my opinion, one of the coolest um, snakes that we have here in the United States, not only because of their record size being up over eight feet, but because of um, just their habits and their um, ability to hunt so many different animals. Um, their Latin name means emperor of the forest, and they certainly live up to that title. These snakes uh, eat just about anything that they can fit into their mouths, rodents, birds, uh, reptiles, um, even other snakes and even venomous snake species. Uh, indigo snakes have been known to eat uh, eastern diamondback rattlesnakes and they're immune to the venom of those snakes. And uh, they basically, they're not constrictors, they basically just uh, hunt by sight and smell and then they'll uh, grab their food and basically just overpower it with their strong jaws, maybe shaking it a little bit to try to break the neck of whatever they're eating and then swallow it down whole. And uh, so they're just a, an amazing species. They're very um, much uh, found around sand hills. They're often associated with gopher tortoise burrows, especially uh, in the northern part of their range where they're more dependent on uh, tortoise burrows, especially for overwintering. Uh, but just always amazing to see one of these incredible animals in the wild and uh, thankful that uh, they're still around. <laughs>